Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time. Smile, my dear. Good morning. Happy day 13. We are definitely halfway now. It is like super foggy and rainy outside, so I thought it would be really nice to sit here by the tree, although I think it's still a little bit bright um, behind me, but this is the last New York City day of Vlogmas because tomorrow we are getting in the car and driving to Florida. So we're going to spend a week in Florida and a week in Tennessee, um, though it won't be quite a week on Vlogmas in Tennessee because we're going to get there I think we'll just have a couple of days of Vlogmas when we get there. But I want to go ahead and get everything opened up this morning. Today is just all about prepping for our trip tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot of packing, cleaning. We need to go get our rental car in a couple hours. We're going to leave and do that. So I am going to be kind of running around today, the apartment. Um, let's start with Dragon Horde Yarn and Yarn Cafe Creations, day 13. I am hopefully going to remember this. I want to do a weaving and ends tutorial today, so I will do my best to show that today. Okay, let's see. Today is a Yarn Cafe Creations day. Yeah, this might be like not the best angle. There we go. Yarn Cafe Creations. It's a nice color. Lots of little speckles in there. I like that. Pretty pretty. Feeling good, still staying up on my square, which is great. I gotta figure out how to get all this stuff, um, Avon stuff packed today too, because of course I've left all my packing till the last minute. <laughs> Um, we are on a new box for the Vessel Stitch Co. Advent Calendar, so let me get this opened up real quick. All right, day 13. Let's see what stitch marker we have for today. Oh, another Werther's. And a cute silver snowman. That's nice, I like that. Nice and simple and cute. Okay, next up. I'm not even worrying about putting that away properly because I know I've got to go through all that later today. Let's do Fangirl Fibers. See, this is gonna be fun now, I'm going to Disney. I've got all my Disney softness yarn I can be working on over at Disney. It's gonna be great. Ooh. We're doing like all the blues, I guess, in a row. That one's really pretty. Maybe today it will be frozen or we already did Space Mountain. Maybe that's Tomorrowland or did we head Tomorrowland and Space Mountain, didn't we? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Let me play the guessing game. Last one, last one from here in New York City. Moon Glow Yarn Co, day 13. Silver Sage. Ooh, so that's definitely gonna be a green too. Here it is. I think this morning before I get started on editing yesterday's Vlogmas, which is kind of how I've been starting my workday mornings, I'm going to sit and finish this Christmas movie that has taken me forever to watch and work on my sweater because I wanna work on it so bad. And then I'll get started on. <laughs> I'll get started on Vlogmas and hopefully get that done before we head off to the airport. I've got two hours until then, so I think I can do all of that. All right, day 13, Moon Glow, Silver Sage. Oh, that's nice. I feel like we're about to start going into blues. I'm kind of looking ahead at the colors. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. I am excited. Okay. I can hear my breakfast like bubbling over there, my oatmeal. So I'm gonna go grab that and hang out on the couch for a few minutes before starting the day.
place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. home from rental car pickup that was quite an adventure I mean it really actually went really smoothly we took the subway and bus to get to LaGuardia Airport and then you have to like hop out get on another airport shuttle to go to rental car and then get in another airport airport shuttle to go to the specific rental car place so it took us about an hour plus why are you being so cute, Toaster? It took us about an hour plus to get there, but there wasn't a long line. <laughs> My gosh, what are you doing, huh? Oh my gosh, he's so funny. There's laundry going to, oh my gosh, Toaster. <laughs> he just landed on my back from Chick-fil-A. I stopped and got Chick-fil-A on the way back. Anyway, there's laundry going, um, so I'm about to take a quick lunch break, and then the whole rest of the day is all about packing, cleaning, prepping, doing some work. Um, my goal is by 8 o'clock that I am packed, showered, clean, and just ready to go because I have we have a movie night for our membership tonight, which is a lot of fun, and we're watching a great Christmas movie new on Netflix called Love hard I think um I think love hard is what it's called so it's gonna be really fun so I want to be settled by then so after the movie I can go right to sleep because it's gonna be an early day all right that was Kent calling me I had to answer that um so anyway to catch you up to speed we went and got the rental car drove back into the city from Queens which is on the east side of Manhattan so we're driving across Manhattan back to where we live on the west side and um Kent is going to the Army Navy game, the football game today, which is in New Jersey. So basically going straight across Manhattan to the other side um, to then New Jersey. And so he had planned to like, we were gonna park our car and then he was gonna go on a train, but we were kind of running out of time. So we decided it would be better if he just took the rental car over and parked at the game. And then when he came back um, later tonight, we'll hopefully get some free parking on the street because we're leaving early in the morning. And so I was like, you know what, if you're going to do that, there's no reason for me to ride home with you and then go back out and do the things I need to do, which was run one errand and I wanted to get some food. So I just hopped out of the car <laughs> in the middle of town, went to Chick-fil-A, ran my errand, brought this back and yeah. And then Kent just called me and said that he um, got undercharged for parking because the guy so like something rang up funny and the guy was like, well, it's your lucky day. So this is turning out to be really, really nice. Anyway, it's hard sometimes not having a car when it comes to situations like this. And you just have to know that you're going to have to take a lot of time to navigate things. And that's just is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to take my lunch break now and then I will show how to weave an end. And then it is going to be like, go, go, go until eight o'clock to get all the things checked off my list. Okay, let's weave in the ends on today's square. This was a tutorial that somebody requested. So if you see things and you're like curious about them, let me know, I might be able to share it. So I'm gonna use one of these Susan Bates finishing needles again. Um, I have, I will link these again 
That's what I was trying to say. I will link these again, but I always have these in my Amazon storefront. You can also get them at some of your local yarn stores um, or at like Michael's or something like that. This is the smallest one in the pack. And just to warn you, there's usually one end. It's not really showing up here, but there's usually one end that's rough and one that's smooth just because these are cheaply made. No other reason, but try to find the smooth side to actually go through your stitches. So... I'm going to flip to the wrong side and we'll start with the end from the middle. And this is my scrappy granny pattern. I've got a photo tutorial, a video tutorial. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, grab it. It's all linked below. Okay. So the first thing I will do is I will kind of cinch the center closed a little bit here. And then I am going to weave in my end by going around. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do around this center circle, just going through the stitches. So I will just start right where I am, continuing around the circle and just going in underneath each cluster here. You know what? I might find an easier way to do this. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit better. Um, so going around the circle, I'm just gonna go underneath the first cluster of three and then I just kind of start working my way around. So I'm just making my needle go in the bottom of those stitches, it's not coming through to the right side though. Just staying underneath those stitches. So I'll just kind of work it around. I want it to kind of get smooshed in the middle there, like get stuff in the middle, pull through. So that was two clusters. And I'm gonna do two more to make a full circle. See how there's like four clusters of three double crochets, that's how we started out. And I will just go around three times, I mean four times to all of those. And then snip it. And that's it for the one in the center. That one's easy, super easy. I might actually have this in the tutorial now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't remember. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip to the right side for a second to deal with this one. I love these finishing needles because you can just so easily weave in or um, thread your needle. Make sure you use the smooth end, not the rough end. So the first part of this one is I'm going to kind of create a stitch here to smooth over this edge. So here's where I just finished. I'm gonna go to like this next stitch here at the top, like this next kind of chain and go underneath both strands of it. And then come back down into the one I just came from. So I just went this way, and then I'm gonna come down here. That just makes like basically a little stitch to smooth things out. So now we're gonna go to the wrong side. And my goal is to make my way from where I am down to these corner clusters of double crochets. So the way that I'm gonna do that, not really, really set up for tutorials here, <laughs> is I'm going to usually go into like the back of this double crochet right here. And then I'm down here in the bottom. So this is like the, the corner. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in that middle circle, except I'm going to go across these two clusters and then back and then one more time. So three times, one, two, three, making arches. All right. So the first time I will just dive on in. Again, I'm just making my needle go through these clusters. And I know this is not like, this is not like high quality tutorial here because I'm just doing it on the fly. Okay, so I've made my stitch go through those two clusters, my needle rather, pull through and then I kind of loosen up. And then before I go back through, because if you don't do it right, you're just gonna feed your yarn back through, it'll just come out. You've got to catch something. So I will normally like feed my needle through something like a stitch. This is gonna like stopper things. 
um, before I go back through. And it gets a little crowded in there. Okay, pull through. And then one more time, and again, you have to kind of, you kind of have to feed your yarn through something here on this side, or you might end up just feeding your yarn back through. Make your way through the cluster. It starts to get kind of hard to go through at that point. So tidy it up, work your way down, and then back and forth three times, and that's it. It's secured. And I learned this from um, Lucy of Attic24. She's the designer of the Granny Stripe Blanket. That's how she does her ends on the end of the rows. So that's who I adapted that from. There you go, tutorial complete. Time to get some packing done. Poster is packed, my clothes are packed. I haven't done toiletries yet, that's probably my least favorite part, but I wanted to get all the not so fun parts out of the way. So now we can do the knitting, which is gonna be the fun part, but I'm not gonna give myself too long to like piddle around with it. I'm only gonna give myself 30 minutes, aside from like maybe some winding that I need to do, which I can do later on when I'm relaxing and having our movie night later. So I was trying to fit into a smaller suitcase because the car we have doesn't have a very big trunk and I kind of wanted to have like a few smaller bags instead of one big bag, but that didn't really work out. So hopefully my toiletries will also fit in there. If not, I may be rearranging again. And then one thing I like to do always is lay out my clothes for the next day, especially because we're gonna be up so early. So I have like my comfiest pants and a comfy t-shirt. I like to wear a t-shirt because sometimes I get really hot in the car. The weather's gonna be changing on the way. It's like 80 degrees in Florida. My favorite sweatshirt is all set out and ready for tomorrow. I'll also add like socks, underwear, put my shoes there. Make it so easy for myself in the morning. I feel like I was gonna share one more tip thing but I don't remember what it was. So I am just gonna pull all of the knitting out that I am bringing with me, throw it on the bed by like a pile by project, and then one project at a time, I'm gonna go through and make sure I have everything that I need for it. Again, I don't wanna like dwindle, <laughs> dwindle, is that the right word? I don't wanna like make this take too long, so I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and get it done. Echo, set a 30 minute timer. 30 minutes. I am bringing a ton as always and I am not being realistic about this. I'm just bringing everything because we're going to be gone for more than two weeks and I just don't even know what will happen. I haven't really thought about what I want to finish but I do wanna keep up with Advent. So here's what we got. Oh, hold on, turn that off. So these two yarns, I'm going to bring needles. I'm gonna wind them up. I have a design idea in mind. We will see if I get to that. Um, I brought out all of my Christmas project bags because I haven't even pulled them out yet. I have so many great ones. And so I'm gonna be putting stuff into project bags. I need to wind up the Ruby and Roses yarn for Sockmas um, so that I can start on those when I finish my other ones. In these two bags is the same project. It's like the minis are in one and the sock is in the other. So I'm gonna consolidate that, make sure I have everything I need. Of course, my sea glass tea. I will get all that gathered up. My socks for my friend, which are going fast and my long summer cardigan. So just kind of thinking out loud, I need to bring, I'm gonna change the project bag on this. It'll just be easier to smush into another project bag. 
I am going to make myself maybe two knitting bags, one smaller one that I will keep up in the front seat with me and one bigger one that will have all my projects, needles, notions, things like that. And in the one in the front, I will have tomorrow's advents. And in the one in the back, I will have all the rest of the advents. So like going through this, I need to make sure that I only bring, you know what, I get nervous if I only bring some colors. So I'll probably just bring all the colors and put it into a smushier bag, make sure I have the needles I need for the ribbing, needles to weave in, um, stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna need for that. This project, I think I already have everything I need in it. This project, I kind of wanna bring some extra cords and stuff to be able to try on the yoke when I get to that point. Oh, this is the granny square project. I just don't have anything, so I need to get a bag. <laughs> a bag for that. I'm also going to be starting some other socks hopefully while I'm gone. Um, I'll need needles for that. I don't know. I need to kind of stop being on camera and think. This takes a lot of thinking as you know. So when you come back, hopefully this will all be sorted and beautiful. next to all my advents ready to get these packed up too this is crazy i think this is the most amount of knitting and yarn i've ever brought on a trip with me we will see how it goes so i am gonna put i've gathered some like larger bags to put the next um i think it's 11 days of advent in i have the smaller one for my stitch markers and then this cute bag is the one that i'm going to keep my granny square project in so I figured I can just put all of tomorrow's advents in here and since moon glows is on a sheet of paper I'm just gonna take a picture of it so that I have that was a little short so that I have all of the names without having to bring that sheet of paper with me I'm not bringing these boxes with me so let me just go ahead and grab all of tomorrow's day 14 of each advent some of them are getting pretty messy kind of need to like reorganize them anyway because i've also got you know full skeins of stuff to put in there oh i don't know if i ever showed that the fangirl fibers one came with these really cute mickey stitch markers like wooden cutout ones um actually they're mini mickey and mini they're so cute okay uh december 14th that's the second one I actually should bring a second crochet hook just in case I lose that one. I'm always afraid that I'm going to lose my crochet hooks because they're just so darn small. Day 14 of the Vessel Stitch Co. And the last one, day 14 of Moon Glow. So those are all in here. We can open them up in the car tomorrow. That'll be great. Now I'm gonna work on getting the rest of them into their separate bags. My 30 minute timer just went off, which is great. We're doing really good on time tonight. I feel like I'm always staying up so late before we go out of town. And right now we're doing great. So I have this smaller lightweight tote bag for what I'm gonna keep kind of at my feet in the front. And then I have this bag that zips that I will put all my stuff in that I don't really need access to, that I can grab on stops and stuff like that. Um, Kim and I are going to share the driving a bit, but Kim will drive definitely the majority of the way. I'll just probably drive a few hours or so, which I'm really grateful for because obviously I love knitting. Oh, and you know what? Actually, I'm gonna show you first what I'm putting in my in the car bag, which is all up here. I got things organized. Okay, so most important thing, I almost forgot this. This is my neck light. I will link it for you. You turn on the button and then you can control these, you know, you can use one if you don't need it super bright. You can change the tone, the brightness on these. Anyway, 
Best thing ever, it's fully charged. So that's gonna be so important because we're gonna be in the car for 18 hours or so. And the first few and the last like half <laughs> are gonna be in the dark. So anyway, I have that. I have the little kit we put together for all the day 14 stuff tomorrow, plus my hook in here. Oh, let me get my extra hook while I'm thinking. Okay, perfect. My extra hook was actually in my little crochet hooks pouch, and I've already decided I'm gonna bring all my needles and notions because I just have so many different projects in different states, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I have my extra with me if it like falls out of the car or something happens. So. I've got that, I will work on the granny square tomorrow in the car for sure. I'm bringing just one pair of socks in the front seat with me. I mean, I'm saying this like I can't get to the back, but the uh, socks for my friend Eddie because I am just feeling motivated to work on those right now and I wanna get them done for him so I can hand, give them to him for Christmas when we come back. And then for my bigger project, I'm bringing my, um, uh, what is this called? <laughs> I almost said long summer cardigan. Um, what all my projects are linked down below what is it called <laughs> sea glass tea and i am on like row six of eight of the current color that i have so i've gone ahead and put the next couple days which is six and seven because i'm super behind on that in here just in case i should be fine to wind in the car i there's no way i even get all that done and there's a good chance that I work on these for a little while, switch them out with other projects. And then I grab this pouch right here. I'm bringing my full notions pouch, which is this one. So it's not even that big, but I wanted something smaller to have in the front seat with me. So I've got uh, tapestry needles to weave in ends and I've got my little needle that I love to weave in ends on the granny square like I showed today. Scissors and a measuring tape, all just right here that are gonna go in my front of the seat front of the car bag, front seat bag. So my stuff, those projects, wait, what's this? Is this one that I wanted to bring? Now that I've switched the bags, I'm like, wait, what projects are these again? Okay, so that's done. Now I at least have, you know, easy access to a couple, few projects that I don't have to dig around in tomorrow morning when I'm super tired and I don't know what to do. This bag goes in the front seat, easy peasy. Okay, now for this bag, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Advents here. Actually, you know what? I ended up using this bag for long summer cardigan because it's the largest one I have. I couldn't find anything else that would fit it. So let's put that in there. And then I think I'm gonna smush. Oh, this bag is gonna be tight actually. Cause I'm gonna bring all my needles and notions. I normally don't do that. Like sometimes I will just bring my interchangeable set, but this time, I have too many projects that are on size like ones, twos, and threes, which are not part of my interchangeable set. So I just don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, I know you like can't really see me and the bag at the same time, but we're trying here. Okay, this bag is already full. <laughs> I might need a bigger bag. Um, I was gonna try to get all my notions down here. I mean, all my advents down here in the bottom, because I definitely won't be getting to those in the car. I can kind of swish them, you know, because they're yarn. I'm not going to need to get to those until I get to my destination. So those can kind of swish. That one sounds bad because it's the fangirl fibers one. And so it's uh, crinkly. I don't think I'll need my notions pouch much because it's not the other one. These are practically empty. They're just ready for designs. So I'm not going to need those. Sock project. And then... These things I need to wind later, so I'm just gonna leave them on top. But I think that works out pretty good. I might not be able to zip this, but at least that's gonna be easy to carry. Holy cow, this is a lot of knitting. So I'll be keeping you posted on what I'm working on, and I'm not gonna try to sweat too much getting everything done. I'm just gonna kinda find which project I'm feeling good about and focus on that and just try to start completing things one at a time without too much stress. That's what I'm trying to learn. So this is done. And I am going to, I think, do a little bit of cleaning and random stuff, not on camera because then I can just get it done like really fast, get a shower in and catch back up with you in a little bit. All right, I am showered. I blow dried and wash wash and blow dry my own hair since I got it 
died and I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> so we're about to start our um, movie night and it's so much fun. We use this thing called Teleparty. You can see there's like a chat on the side. So when I start the movie, it starts it for everybody. It's a Google Chrome extension. I will put a link because I think it's the best thing ever. You do have to be on a computer, but it's really fun because we've been able to watch, we watch a Halloween movie together in October. Um, we're watching a Christmas movie together right now called Love Hard, and it's just really, really fun. So I'm about to start it, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight because we are leaving at 4 a.m. I'm setting my alarm for 3 a.m. And as soon as this is done, I am gonna try to rest and go to bed. Um, so I've got a few more things I need to do. And the great part is, is while the movie's playing, like I can be in my pajamas, nobody sees me, and I can watch and enjoy while I finish packing up. So I'm gonna do that. I will see you the next time in Florida. Bye. Hey.